<laughs> so we're here at Ranch 3232 near Johnson City, Texas. This is a short-term rental property where people can come out and they can be close to the Pedernales Falls State Park. We are helping to provide a number of different lodging options. Some of those are like permanent tents, RV pads where you can have different kinds of tiny homes, micro cabins. We're here in front of the communal kitchen which when we started working with this client was really just kind of a shed. There was an old leaky roof on it. The inside wasn't finished out. It was just bare studs. We've come in and we've, we've basically finished it out. We've built the deck and a little bar. People who stay here can come and they can use this communal resource of a space as well as the bathhouse. This is sort of a community design that I see being pretty successful in some places where you have a bunch of small living units like tiny homes or anything like that and then you've got your communal kitchen your communal dining your communal bathhouse laundry house and so on and so forth and that way you consolidate the resources so that not every community member needs to have their own washing machine their own stove or their own toilet here inside of the kitchen we got pretty creative with the materials that we use this is old leftover bamboo flooring that we used to trim these out. The tin that is the siding in here was actually on the roof, but it was leaking. So we went ahead and took it down and we just used it to cover this up. This is an open air structure. The air does come in, it's not sealed, but that helps to keep it cool because the hot air can escape. We built out this kitchen over here, which is very basic, very small, but it's enough. Quite a luxury when you're camping to not have to bring all your own stuff out. So you can use the sink, you can make coffee, you can use a little burner, and there's a bunch of utensils and things like that if you need. And then over here we have our little breakfast table, lunch table, got another table back here. So we're excited to see how this project evolves and we're excited to see how it touches the lives of people who come out here to stay and to get reconnected with nature and to experience different options of how you can live a little more lightly. We're out here at Ranch 3232 and we are standing in the RV pads that have been prepared. But rather than just parking RV pads, what would be even better is if we could get different examples of tiny homes parked on these spots. And either someone could be living in their own tiny home out here with the access to Dripping Springs and the uh, Pedernales State Falls Park. There's water and electricity out here already. Or if you have a tiny home and you want to park it here and use it for short-term rentals and split the profits with this location, that's also an option. We've got five different spots here and we'd like to see a wide variety of different options so that people can come and sample different ways of living more creatively than just the standard, you know, stick frame home that's the main option available to people these days. So we are at the Soul Pad tent. There's actually three of these here. When I first started working with this client, they wanted to do some sort of glamorous camping, also known as glamping. So they were looking at different options and I had a friend who had lived in, in a Soul Pad for a number of years. And, uh, and so I brought these up as an option and we decided to give it a try. It was much more cost effective than other options that they were looking at at the time. These are about $1,000, the sole pad, and you get quite a bit of square footage. I believe this one is a 16 foot diameter circle, and you can see it's pretty nice in there. There is a hole for a wood fire stove or for air conditioning. So far, we haven't really needed it here. It stays pretty cool, and you can actually unzip all around the bottom. So you can get more airflow by unzipping all the way around the bottom here. And of course, there's also these windows that you can open up. And it's pretty cool in here right now, even though it's 95 degrees outside. But part of the reason that it's nice and cool in there is because we do have some shade sails up, which also adds to the aesthetic of the space. And you can see there's some lighting hanging from there. So at nighttime, you can get a nice ambiance going on. about a uh, common theme that I've noticed in the world of people who are interested in regenerative agriculture and just being more sustainable in general. A lot of times just having a strong desire to create regeneration in the world is not enough because it takes 
meticulous planning and execution of the plan, uh, flexibility, and the financial elements have to be in place to give you the power and the leverage to make your dream come true. And so a lot of our clients are looking for a way to first help define their dream and then also come up with a plan that's going to actually allow them to get from where they are now to where they want to be 10, 20, 30 years down the line. So one of the most important aspects of that is cash flow. One of the best ways that I've seen that people can cash flow their projects is through short-term rentals and events like wedding venues and places that do Airbnb. So we're out here at Ranch 3232 uh, in Johnson City near the Pedernales State Falls Park. That's basically the strategy. So we've got micro cabins and we've got uh, tents and we've got RV spots and all these different options for people to come out here and do short-term rentals. What I love about this project is it's not just about making money off of short-term rentals. All of the money that gets made gets reinvested into making this place more sustainable. We've done a master plan design that helps to deal with water. It's a pretty high and dry landscape, pretty rocky, poor soil. So we need to capture every drop of available water that we can and soak it down into the soil and build the soil up so that it's more of a sponge and so that there's more biological activity to take advantage of that moisture. And then whatever doesn't get taken advantage of goes down and recharges the aquifer. We also have in the plans a food forest, community garden, fixing a pond that was poorly installed previously that doesn't hold water very long, also making a natural swimming pool. There's big plans, but most people don't have the money to just say, okay, here's the vision, let me pay for it in cash up front, build it. So a lot of people need to take it step by step. So how do I get people out here? How do I get interest? How do I generate revenue and profit so that I can do the next step? Out here, what we're doing is putting in all of the infrastructure to really build up the business of short-term rentals and get people enjoying the space, get people connecting with nature and enjoying the Pedernales State Falls, or sometimes people come out here related to a wedding and so they'll camp at Ranch 3232 while they're also enjoying a wedding or maybe they're doing a wine tour. We're very close to Fredericksburg where there's a lot of vineyards that people go and visit. There's a lot of stuff to do out here in the hill country. What this place aims to provide is a more regenerative place where people can stay, where they can rest while they're on that tour, enjoying the wineries, the weddings and so on and so forth. We're really proud to be helping with that and we're just taking it one step at a time. Now we wanna have people who really care about this mission coming out here, enjoying the space, and helping to generate that revenue that will then allow the owners of this property to take the next step and install rainwater catchment or install a food forest or whatever it is. And then that momentum will continue to build and we'll see this piece of land enlivened and regenerated. And we'll also see all the people who come out here receiving an example and hopefully a little perspective shift on what's even possible here in the high dry Texas Hill Country.